cats. And we are at Chesterfield Antiques today. And I want those cats. <laughs> See if you could find a. Uh, oh, let's see. How much you are they? Oklahoma. Oh, that one's 15. Let me see. 15. Oh, Florida, California. Somebody's got a right collection. I know. Florida, well, I have a Texas one from 68, which is the year I was born. I have a New York one on my desk at work. Here's a Texas one. How much is it? 15? 15. Okay, I'll consider that. I mean, I like I said, I have a Texas plate. Illinois. Yeah. Here, I'll put it back here. Unless you want it. Nah. No. I'd like a New England plate. Colorado. Washington. Oops. Come on. I would love a New England plate. New Jersey. Nah. Well, nah. Alabama. I'm in, like, no thanks. Pennsylvania. Oh. <laughs> What's that one? Arizona? No. That's cool. You should list them. Dude, I know. Cheap. I sell them for 15 or more. Yeah, so I know. They're normally 20 something. What is it? Six? Yeah. I'm not mad at it. Ooh. Yeah, I've got loads of them I need to list. But I'll take another one. Oops. <laughs> they have baskets? No. Look at all that. Oh my god. Look at all that. Slag glass. Oh my god. And all this too. Like the owl. He's 18. There's more. Wow. Okay. Look, girl. Did you see all this? I know. I know. That's a nice color. I never see I know. it in purple. <laughs> Yeah. Now that's deer. Oh, I know, he's cute. Oh, he's just, he is eight. And it is by, I think it's, is it German? I think. Oh, no, that's an England one. Okay. I've never seen that it. That starts with an S. I can't think of it. But yeah, it is English. I, I thought it was German. It's a stash. Oh, yeah, that is good. Look at this. Little dude. The little dude here. He's cute. Look at all this. Look at the kitty. Oh, is it a mule? It's a mule. I believe you. The salt and pepper shakers. Let's see. Oh, sorry, I'm on your it's way. Okay. No, no. I'll move. I'll move. There you go. <laughs> How much are these? Carlton wear. Five quid. Oh, chippy. Mm -mm. Never mind. But see, Carlton Ware doesn't fetch a lot of money. I'm shocked it's because it's such, it's, I think some of it's so cool. I think it's very cute. I mean, that alone, I would have bought that for they myself. They have such cool it's stuff. They have such cool stuff. And, and I just can't believe they don't. Well, it may be. You know what? These things fetch money, and I don't understand why. They're so ugly to me. But I guess they're somebody's taste. Yeah. I don't. Under, yeah, no. Uh-uh. No, no, it's not my jam. I feel like you're being washed. <laughs> it's not my jam. Wouldn't it be great if there was like cameras in his eyes? Oh, no. oh my god, that'd be so good. That Look at that. Luster wear. That's Arthur Wood. A, I see, I like Arthur Wood pictures. The thing is, I tend to hang on to them for a while before they sell. I don't know why, because they're so pretty. Look at this Lester Ware one. Arthur Wood. 
Is it Arthur Wood? Yeah, Arthur Wood, another Arthur Wood. I don't know. Eight. Hmm. That big green bottle is four. Okay. This pin cushion and um, thimble. There's another Arthur Wood. See, I don't understand why Arthur Wood. I, I just think they're so pretty. But mine tend to sit for a while, and I really don't need stuff sitting around as much as I like it. Yeah. That's <laughs> You're like, I'm overlooking it. Oh, wait a minute. Hang on. <laughs> That's a beautiful clock. Mm. Oh, it's got this deer on it. How much is this? It's like a big 78. I mean, I'm not mad at it. It's not bad, actually. We're going to go upstairs in a minute. That's pretty. It is 27, I think. 27. That's pretty. I'm going to go around this way and look. Look at this crystal deer. Nine. Our glass duck dish. Backgammon. I think we looked at all this, yeah. I'm just coming back around because sometimes I go so quick. I don't really look at stuff and that's a problem. So <clears throat> I'm taking my time. I can't see the price. <laughs> it's only six pounds of Brentley wear. Mm, this beef's still good. Looks all right, huh? Uh, that's nothing. That looks like maybe paint got on. Yeah, it. I could probably get that off. Seems all right. I mean, for six pounds, I'm not mad at it. Seems good to me. Okay. You know what I found? What? A Whitman sampler box. Here? Yeah. Hang strange, on. Right? Let me go put this up and we'll have to have a look. Did you go poof? Oh my God. How much is it? It's probably inside. Because. Ooh. $14.50. Yeah, no. But here, I mean, I guess it would be. Yeah, we're, yeah. It's a, but now I want chocolate. I know. Now there. I want Whitman's chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> I got a bunch of these at home. Let's see, eight fifty for this one. This tiniest. Oh, oh. Yeah, Jesus! It's a Coke spoon. No, I mean, it's like a tiny for a tiny for a tiny little yes. Yeah. Right. You know, little things like that, or a little mustard spoon. Oh, these are made of bone. Ooh, these. Not into bone stuff. Yeah. Eight fifty. Mm -hmm. Wade pin dish. Mm -hmm. A little more than that would spend. A little more. All right, we're gonna go upstairs, Dave. Oh my god! Look at these baskets. Perfect for the time of year. Look at this. Baskets. I have no place to put baskets, but I sure love them. Ooh. That's a nice one. How much is it? I love a good Afghan. 20. Not bad. How much that is really that one? Because those are the colors of my soul. Yeah, this one I can see more or less. Oh, come on. Go back. Hmm? Seven. <gasps> Grab it. Okay. Oh my god. You want to look at it and make sure it didn't have any? Yeah, let's do that. I'm just like rabbit. Oh, sorry. <gasps> I love it. It's perfect for my bed. Right? I think so. Okay. Yes. So yes for me. Okay. Hold it up. Thanks, girl. What about that one? This one's only seven, too. 
this but i like to you know oh, some you, now you need a basket so you can roll them up and put them all in it girl that's what i want i have some and i that's some look i want a basket for that but i need to find a good size basket i need to find a like this basket yep <laughs> you say hello here do you want to give it to dave because you may have to hold something that's for me it's seven that's right it's like a <laughs> She said, you need a basket for him. I was like, I know. <laughs> I do. That's what I wanted to do. I have to find like, the right size basket. Do you know what I mean? This is a good size. Oh, the nice wool ones. Those are so pretty. Oh, how much is that? Do it. Do it. It's precious. Ooh, nine. That's pretty. I don't need no more blankets, so I need to get a basket first before I, I get more I like it, but my wife will kill me. Why are you bringing that home? <laughs> yes, exactly. She'll say, that's not my like <laughs> Oh, my God. So, like, I like this basket. Does it have a price on it? Oh, yeah, it does. Whoop. Okay, all right. All right, drama. Ten. Mmm. See? Like that black? Is that too small? If I roll them up. No, they won't be too small. Look Maybe at this. a little short. Look at this one. Oh yeah, in depth. Yeah, like yeah. look at this. Hang on. Just I, I don't want it. I just have to see what. Just what... a rug. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's so good. <laughs> How do I look? <laughs> I think you should wear it out always. <laughs> <laughs> not attention-seeking at all. Not, not, not one bit. No one will ever notice you in that. Nope. <clears throat> be incognito. I'm oh, sorry. We're in your way. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, look at him. What is he? Oh, beautiful color. What's a silfac or a like? Look at this. I love all the owls. Perfect for this time of year. Only seven. I'm not mad at it. Look inside. Let me make sure there's no. Looks like stress marks, baby. I think it's just. I think they're just uh, marks. You know what I mean? Like From the, when they made it. Oh, you, know, you could probably get them out. See those black ones there? Mm -hmm. You could probably get that out with a magic eraser. And I have some if you need them. Oh, I have some of them too. <clears throat> Thank you. My wife keeps stealing them. So oh, I have they're to so hide good them. on everything. I, can hide them. I like this. Is this like alabaster? Is this just a resin? Oh, he's cute, isn't he? There's only three. And this one. I like that one. Very cute. Look at this guy. What's happening over He's here? He's got a little friend. Oh. Is it a pair? Pair of yep. For how much? For four. Yeah, I have both of them. Oh my god. Eleven fifty. That's cute. Eleven fifty. Mm -hmm. Here, all right, we could carry it. I know, that's cute though. Oh, that's cool. That is cool. I don't know I've never seen one of them. I've not seen that ever. That's so cool. So it won't pull yeah. Look at Dave. You might want to look at Dave. Wall pocket. <laughs> I love these little forks. I like. I mean, shopping in here is cheaper than going to a charity shop. Girl, that's what I'm. Yeah, absolutely. That's a shame. Look at that. Mm -mm. Outdoor stuff. Cast iron. Oh, that is funky. Girl. <laughs> <laughs> There's not, some of them don't have prices. 15. I mean, it's not terrible. No. <gasps> Look at this blue cat. Oh my God. How much is it? 
15. The Bristol Blue Cat, yeah. Nice. That's nice, yeah. Okay. Hi, welcome back to my channel, Miss Damn Jewelry. I'm Dolores. I hope you enjoyed the shop with me, us, Jessica, and Dave are with me at Chesterfield Antiques. I did find a few things. I hadn't been there in a while. And I have no idea why. <laughs> it just, you know, life happens. You don't get to go to the good places every, uh, every very often. So, I've got some good things. I got, I didn't get loads there, but I got some cute stuff, so let's get into it. So, I, a lot of my stuff I got, oh, I got this. So, there was an upstairs and there's an upstairs and a downstairs. So, downstairs, I got this. And I love this. It's this little bird planter. And look at him. He is in such good shape. Now, I was, I said to Jessica, I said, girl, check this out. So, it's in really good condition. No chips, no crabs, cracks, no, <laughs> no crabs. <laughs> No chips, no cracks. Uh, it doesn't even have crazing on it. It's, she's a little dirty inside, but I'll clean that up. And it is, it's got on the bottom some like paint, little bits of paint. I think maybe when someone painted a house, whatever, I'm not touching it. Because I don't want to start trying to take it off and mess with it. So I'm going to leave it. Uh, it says, Made in England, Brentley wear, bird number three. And I want to know where the other birds are. I just thought it was pretty. It was cute. Perfect for spring, even though we're in the autumn. Um, I, I, well, perfect for any time, a little fake plant in it. I don't know. I just liked it so much and it, and it was such good condition. I believe this was five pounds. I think it was five pounds. They take, see what happened. What had happened was when you go, they take all the prices off. So I forget how much I paid. I think everything was roughly about five pounds. So I got that. I thought that was really cute. So I liked that. I got that. And then we went upstairs like you do. And the next thing I got was for me. It's so the first thing I saw. I looked through loads of them, and it's this beautiful afghan. Now, it is kind of like a, it's, look at the colors, though. I don't want to knock anything down. Look at the colors of that. It's got like a scalloped edge as well, which I thought was so pretty. Oh, Now, I have a thing which I want to do in my living room is get a basket and then, like, roll these up and put them in, like, the basket. So, let's say we're sitting there, and it's like, oh, it's a little chilly. We'll just, like, throw a blanket over us. Or whatever so i like this it's i think it's a single it's like for a single bed which is absolutely fine oh yeah see it's oh there's the colors i love it i love the colors i love everything about it seven pounds i thought that was that's more than seven pounds of work in that not bad i liked it i like the colors it'll either go on my bed at the end of my bed like you like a little like like just across or it'll be used on the couch unclear but i think the colors were perfect I actually think they're perfect for all year round because they just, it's like, because it's multicolored, but really do like it. Nice and warm, heavy. It's quite a heavy blanket. So I got this knitted blanket. So I got that. So then we looked around and I, the next thing I saw was these. I don't know who makes them. I think they were three pounds for the pair. These are owls. So one of them sits like, oh, wrong way around. <laughs> one of them sits like this and the other one's, girl sort it out. The other one sits like this. They sit next to each other. They're not salt and pepper shake. It's just little, you know, ceramic figures. I thought they were cute. I feel like they, I don't know if they, no, I think they were separate. Were they together? I don't remember. <laughs> um, I think they, no, they came as a pair. Yeah. But I just thought they were cute together. I mean, it's, it is autumn. I do like an owl. I think I'll sell these together. And, um, Oh, no, they go together. Look, they got the same markings. I just liked them together. I just thought they were cute. Perfect for autumn or any time of year, really. So I got these for three pounds. So the next thing I saw was this. Oh, stay there. Now, I don't know if I've ever done the house tour. I don't know. I can't remember. But I've got, so I have what I what they call pendant lighting. So it comes out of the ceiling. I'll insert a picture here. Light, so... I got this. It's like a light green, which my living room is. I've got a lot of green accents in my living room. My curtains are green. So I got this, five pounds. Now there is, a, now this is for me, again. It does have a look a little right here on the chipping, but you're not gonna see that because that's where that sits. So, which I would expect with the age because it's been taken on and off, on and off. But I wasn't mad at it. So, and because like I said, you're not gonna see it. What you're gonna see is this, and this, there's a, the, the bulb sits inside of that. So. I liked it. Five pounds. I mean, I've been looking for one, a green one for my living room and I found it. So it's probably from the fifties, I guess.
But I like the little sugared bit on the inside and the gold. I love it, love, love. That's for me, so I got that. So next thing I got was, I had to get a lot there. I didn't get loads. I was just, I hadn't been there in ages and it was just fun to look around. And I got this, this cracks me up. My telephone money box. So when I want to make a call at the pay phone or I, I don't know where, but to buy a telephone, I'm unclear. So I saw this and it's like telephone money box. This is the Isle of Wight. So it's like a tourist piece from the Isle of Wight. But how fun is that? And you can't get the money out, but you have to put some effort in. You have to get a um, flathead screwdriver and take it apart to get your money out. So I just thought it was fun. I believe this was, I think this was five pounds. Um, I thought it was funny. I thought it was cute. It had the, I mean, I know it's a tourist piece. Don't care. There is a little bit of wear there on the where the coin goes. But I mean, how fun is that? No one, I mean, I just loved it. If you had an old phone and that was part of your display, this next to it would be so cute. So I got that. So I've got a couple of items I got from um, the charity shop. Now, full disclosure, the sh charity shops have not been that great. I have not been finding a lot of stuff there. I even went to the hangar <laughs> yesterday, and uh, which is the one by my work, which I'm always getting stuff from. Nothing. I found nothing. I, I, there was stuff there. I mean, it wasn't like barren or empty, but I didn't find anything that I would purchase for resale or for myself. And I think it's my own fault. And here's why. <laughs> I think I've been going to a lot of antique shops. And to be fair, the antique shop prices have been comparable, if not better, than the charity shop prices. So, and that's not, that's not a comment on, on anything but the truth. That's just what I've, what I've witnessed. Anybody else can witness something else? That's my experience. So I haven't found a lot at the charity shops. Again, you go into an antique shop and it'd be 30% off, you know, or or it's just l less than, or you're going to find that really unusual kind of like, you know, unusual things. Um, so the charity shops, I think I've kind of spoiled myself going to the antique shops and finding like really cool stuff. And then I go to the charity shops, I'm like, nah. Now, now for anybody else, if you're buying clothes or you buy, you're, you're selling modern stuff, it's absolutely fine. You'll probably find what you want. I focus on vintage. That's pretty much all I sell. Um, I will sell some newer stuff, which I'll show you in a minute, actually. But it has to be specific. So I'm, yeah, I'm just more of a vintage shop, uh, buyer. If, you, if, you're not, if you're new here, I pretty much sell, buy and sell vintage. So the charity shops haven't been that great, but... I did find some cute stuff. I found some Christmassy things, which I was on the hunt for. But I found this. This is made in India. It's an enamel tree, uh, enamel and brass, and it's got some wear, which it would do, it's brass. I don't know when it was made from. I want to say the 90s, solid brass, made in India. Or maybe the 90s or the early 2000s. Um, technically vintage. <laughs> and it was only two pounds. So the, I great for your little battery operated tea lights. Perfect for that. It'd be, it's just, I love it. It's just, I think this reminds me of a poinsettia. I just love it. I just love this tree. So for two pounds, I wasn't mad at it. So the next thing I got is another Christmas item. It did come in this box, which is called a uh, snow white. I've seen this, this brand all over eBay. Um, I'm not saying it's not, it's not probably not an old brand. It's not uncommon. Does it have a barcode on it? Yeah, it does have a barcode. Yeah. So I've seen this before and um, I think I could, I, I think I did look it up. I think I did try to scan it. And it didn't come up on eBay. So it's this glazed porcelain tree. Now I'm going to take it out of the box and show you. All right. So here it is here. I loved it. I thought it was cute. You put again, if you, if it would be cool, it's one of those multicolored uh, tea lights. So if you got the little multicolored battery operated tea lights, it would just glow the flash of different colors inside this white tree. I liked it. I think it's cute. I'm not mad at it. It's a good condition. Has no chips, no cracks. It does have the barcode on the bottom. Oh, maybe I'll scan that one. Um, again, newer. I don't know how old this is. I would say probably, I mean, it could be as recent as last year. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I've not, I, I, I don't tend to go to like a lot of like new stores. <laughs> you know, that's the buying groceries. Um, so if it's more of a recent item, I wouldn't know that. It's in good condition. I'm happy with it. Two pounds. The box has a little bit of wear on it, which is absolutely fine. It's just for storage. So I got that. So that's my haul, y'all. I hope you enjoyed 
the shop with me at Chesterfield Antiques. It is a fun place to go. They're very, very nice there. Um, if you're in the Chesterfield area or you want to come to Chesterfield, I recommend going there. It is, it's, it's two floors and oh, three floors actually is the third floor. It's, and why is the furniture always on the third floor? How are they getting that up there? That's what I was asking Jessica. I was like, why is the furniture on the third floor? Like it's, how you getting it down? So, but anyway, it doesn't matter. They, they, they know what they're doing. So, uh, yes, yeah, so if you're in Chesterfield area, please go and check Chesterfield Antique Center out. It's really fun. It's really great. And you can find a bargain. All right, guys, I will see you next time. Bye.